hey there dj show with technological gadgets uh bring you the best in tech and making it work you know for you on this channel we usually do tech great reviews but sometimes you know we react to other people's setups and uh in this video uh today particularly we'll be reacting to eternal rain's um gaming setups you know they are a like um sort of i guess an esports organization and such um you know like kind of like a i guess something like that you know an organization um and yeah they used to be called team front but now they've changed to uh, rain but yeah we will be checking out um their gaming setups and if i'm not wrong this is my first time checking out like a gaming organization or like a content creator like organization like kind of um yeah kind of gaming setup tour so you know um if you find this interesting you know do let me know and comment down below what you know setups you like me to check out next and i'll be sure to check it out you know and as always i'll be giving my um uh, opinions and you know maybe what i what uh, can be improved on the setup but without further ado let's get right into the video okay their logo has changed they used to be called team yo what's good everyone my name is rain jen welcome back to another video uh mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing a little set no, he's the owner right get into that of course if you want 10 to 30 percent off of anything at gfl.com make sure you use code rg and don't forget it at checkout so if you know my content i am a racing how how, how you know they, they they are like an actual org is once about G Fuel, I guess. Channel, specifically with NASCAR. So, of course, we Ooh. had to have a more racing themed studio. My dad okay. helped me out with planting some of the big uh, things with the studio, but mainly, you know, I tried to make customize it to make it more racing themed, since again, that is kind of the premise of my channel. So, we start off with the white bar. This is where I write down my ideas, whatever I want. Again, code RGN, 10 to 30% mm -hmm. off G Fuel. Yes, represent. Now, if you watch my videos, this is usually what you see. This is the background. Of course, these are flags that I I have uh, gone over the years. We have the NASCAR flag, Jimmy Johnson, Daytona, and then the checker flags around here. Okay, that's pretty good. Are some of the cars that I have gotten. I have a total of nine die casts. This one is my favorite, personal favorite, Dale Earnhardt. Right here, this is the couch. Pretty self-explanatory. This is where I sleep in case, you know, if I don't want to sleep in my room and I'm editing a video that's very, very long, I can just crash here for the night. And then across from it, we have where all the magic happens. So now we get to my desk. As you can tell, I like to uh, represent with MDK, my logo, and the Rain logo. We have two curved, I believe this is 28 and a half inches. I could be wrong, but mm -hmm. Septri C30 monitors. And of course, we have this old thing. This keyboard I've had for years. I got off of Amazon for like 20 bucks, but I've had this for more, maybe more than three years, but it gets the job done. Again, you know, it, I just needed one that works. And I got this custom made mouse yep. pad. Of course, okay. the Rain MDK logo there side by side. And then I got this Red Dragon um, mouse. Again, I just needed one that works. And I got a couple Red Dragon mm -hmm. speakers alongside. Right in the middle, we have our HyperX quadcast microphone. Of course, we oh, got the. Yep. What I would suggest for the speakers is to put them further apart, you know, to have more stereo separation. And for the high pass core cast, instead of putting it behind your keyboard, put it in front of your keyboard. And of course, um, keyboard, better keyboard, um, mechanical keyboard, perhaps. Mechanical keyboards now are really cheap. You can find them for like 25 to 30 dollars. And also mice as well. Maybe a better mouse, you know? That, that could be an upgrade. That works and, I and also mouse pad as well, you know? Got a couple Red Dragon speakers alongside, right in the middle. We have our HyperX quadcast microphone. Of course, we got the PlayStation 4 controller. Mm -hmm. There's Cook Bear, fuck off. And of course, we got G Fuel. Again, 10 to 30% off RG. Yeah, Excuse the mess down really oh. here. Yes, you're actually seeing what's underneath it. Um, yep, if one thing I could improve anything from this setup. Man, gotta be cable management, man. You can use a cable box or whatever. Yeah, just search up cable management guides online and yeah, you'll probably help a lot. Not very good with cable management, but I do have this iBuyPower PC. I okay, bought this at, uh, Best Buy, it's pre-built. I uh, forgot what the exact model is. Of could, course, I forgot about one If thing. you're living in the US, you could probably go to a micro center, which is what a lot of people recommend. And it's what probably I recommend if I'm living in the US, you know, pick up your PC parts, ask them to build it for you. If I'm not wrong, for like 50 to 100 US dollars and yeah. 
Yeah, you're pretty good to this go. This thing that's above my head. For any of my racing heads out there, this is a 2000 Dale Earnhardt Jr. car. I found this in a garage. Okay. <laughs> if you saw my, Insta, uh, my story, I posted this. A pretty I found nice this. Car. I actually had a dumpster. It was someone's dumpster, and then they didn't, weren't using it. They said I could have it, and so me and my dad decided to hang it up. Uh, but it is uh, kind of crazy that if something goes wrong, then I will have a giant race car land on top of my head. But uh, hey, looks cool. I also yeah, got a green screen not here in case for any special occasions. And uh, yeah, that's my studio. Hope you guys liked it. See y'all later. What is yeah. up, Rain Channel? Hey. Today we are doing. Jules, you know who she is, man. Setup tours, and I am so grateful that they asked me to be in this video. So you guys may not know this, but I just moved my setup to have my own gaming room, and there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. So first things first, I'm going to give you a little overview of my setup I have. So I know the speakers are probably supposed to be yeah. separated. <laughs> I only use them for editing no anyway, so it is okay. I no, have the no, 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 no. Put them apart, put them apart, my lady. Put them apart, for God's sake. Speakers are from Amazon. And like I said, I only use these speakers for editing, so I didn't need anything crazy. Right here is my PlayStation uh, 4. I have had this thing since freshman year, depends. so I think it's going on four or five yeah. years. I got this PlayStation stand from Amazon. Okay, this is, good. This is my PlayStation. I would suggest put your speakers apart, I you know, each side of your monitor. Be, you know, it's out of your monitor and push this all the way up against the wall. For controller. Oh, yeah, cable management again. I usually have all my blue light glasses just sitting right here. This okay, is my Acer okay. monitor. I use this one just to play PlayStation. And then up here is my ring light. I'm okay, looking I into guess. upgrading it to a bigger ring light. This is a gifted monitor from my friend. I use this one for editing and uploading mainly. Okay. I have this pretty budget C9 setup, I guess. I think. I stopped using it just because I have this mm -hmm. camera and this camera makes me look way better. I got Oh, she can use that as like a second angle to be honest. A lot of streamers do that, you know. This mouse pad from Amazon. Okay. I'm just trying to match my I mean, she's a console gamer, it doesn't really matter, you know. Red the, and the black sort of PC theme. part of it. And yes, I still have front here. I'm so sorry. I don't have a rain background. I just, I think we all miss front a little bit. And then I have this rainbow light up mm -hmm. keyboard that is also from Amazon. I'm not exactly sure of the brand. I have it's a, like a mechanical Logitech one. mouse. Okay, and G203 or G102. Right here, I have my blue snowball. I think okay. it sounds fine. This and the arm is also from Amazon. This is a pretty These budget are my setup. X so, red you know. headphones. Absolutely love them. Under my mm -hmm. desk is my PC, and it's also on this little stand. Okay, I'm not good. Exactly so it doesn't sure suck in dust directly. This is exactly, but here is the logo. I got that PC on eBay a couple years ago. Yep, and definitely it works a budget setup. Amazing. It does really well. This budget setup, gaming budget chair setup. I have had for like three or four years. Yeah, I can see the way I on actually it. got this at Walmart. Like, it really exceeded my expectations expectations it's been doing super well now for us female gamers watching we all know we female have to gamers. do our makeup before we make a video and everything i made that super simple for me okay. by adding a desk to my i mean desk. i usually wash my face before recording so bye bye it's still shiny as hell but you know I try to keep it clean, you know what I'm saying? I have a very sad collection of G Fuel over here. I have all my freaking makeup, my mirror from Amazon. Last but not least is my wall, my background. Okay. It's not even close to being done yet because I just moved in here. Well, I got mm -hmm. these extremely basic leafs from Amazon. It looks Down pretty here, nice. I have these floodlights from well, Amazon. Well, she gives you a pretty unique like, not RGB. Extremely bright, but they do add vibe. a little pop of color. Yeah. It it isn't done yet, but it's basically, it's coming together really well. I'll do a last mm -hmm. overview for you guys. Our makeup's pretty well done, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I would say cable management. It's I a pretty small and cozy setup, setup, so... Tour. Make sure to subscribe mm -hmm. to Rain down below and follow our social medias. Use code RAIN for 10 to 30% off your next G Fuel purchase. And now, on to the next setup tour. Yo, what's going on? It's right here, man. I'm going to show y'all my setup um we're gonna get right into it i'm not gonna do no long intro no long talk and we're gonna get right up into it now let me show y'all like my little room that's my door okay i'm in like a little cubby hole over here as you can see you know a little little cubby hole 
on the scene, but let's just start with the chair. I got a secret lab chair. Oh, um, okay. This is a lot pretty of money. good. Very chair. comfortable. I'm not on that team secret. I'm gonna let y'all know. This is very comfortable. It's firm. <laughs> yeah. Back, all that. Or you get one that day. So I can that. mark the days off. This is my mic right here. This is a road nt1 or something oh. like that it, it's called i, I think it's okay called it's a pretty really sure. good one if i know it's like 150 to 200 dollars box over there but all the yeah, interface so i was getting to the my monitors guy. um this is a 240 hertz monitor right there this is where i play all my games sweat grind do all that you see player my 4k monitor on this side so yeah this one's talking about you have a 4k monitor for your productivity and stuff like that and then your gaming monitor, you know, so productivity, gaming, productivity, gaming, all in one setup. I uh, watch my videos over here and stuff. Like I mean, that. you have the money to do um, so. My this mouse is pretty pad good is setup. very dirty. I need a new one. Don't don't disrespect me. It's a cherry yeah, blossom. It, it, if you're a really sweaty gamer, I'm trying to go for a performance um, oriented like mouse pad. There, there are many out there. You can check out reviews for performance oriented mouse pads. I think that would be good. And, you know, and I think speaker as well. Got to place them apart at the side of each desk. But like, of, you know, at the end of each so desk. dirty. That is. Oh, uh, that's my keyboard. is Red Dragon. Nothing crazy. Yeah, uh, but can they go at right least? There. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, the um, Cooler Master M M711. Yes, M711. If I'm not wrong, it's a, I think, 55 gram? 50 or 55 gram, like, mouse. One of the lighter, lighter uh, mice right here. And it's, you know, good for, you know, um, fast paced games like you know fortnite um, those are my headphones right which there. i assume that, that's dark. what he's playing can't really see but um those are, those are studio headphones so those are a lot as well okay um i got a little clock over there just to see there's my okay, pretty nice um right there and now this is my pc oh now it's cable ground, management again i know a lot of people's gonna be like why are you putting it on the ground i don't yeah. know it's just on the ground you can I'm do what do you can do what ATM. um juice does which is to put like a riser and man cable management again i uh, i got a ryzen 6900 i believe um i got 32 gigs of ram 5900 i got I think. a whole bunch of 69? storage what the hell um my motherboard is i don't know what my motherboard is but i know it's it, it's expensive and my power yeah he's probably on one of the uh, more expensive watt, i think uh, gold setup. edition or something but one of the more yeah, expensive you know, that's setups pretty much my setup where i get everything done do everything in the little cubby hole get it in but i mean that that's pretty much it i could give a room tour but um the room isn't really that crazy so yeah it's pretty so normal my stuff pretty and, cozy uh, setup in the it. corner so it's more of an entire office setup versus a uh, gaming setup so let's go ahead and get oh, okay it. that's pretty nice oh right, so yeah, it's actually re bad. really good to have a bathroom in an office surprisingly so that you know when you want to go to the bathroom or you need to freshen up take a shower before you shoot or something like that you can you can do so and it's surprisingly useful you know not go not having to travel so far from the um, bathroom and things like that efficiency so i guess my girlfriend's shit while i'm streaming and shit got the blowing it up i guess nice little yamaha keyboard okay uh, some photography lights that i used uh i used to use as my main lighting but now i only use it for recording videos and stuff like that versus streaming uh we got all the okay. soundproofing because on the other side of this wall is somebody that lives in another one of the townhomes that we live in uh, okay nice don't want to disrupt people tv okay uh, sitting on this weird little stand with a bunch of little crap that doesn't matter on it and then we got my music stuff i'll start from oh. uh, left to right so we got my fender jazz bass my Fender Stratocaster, a uh, random ukulele that I bought off Craigslist, my Ibanez um, acoustic uh, electric guitar, and then my uh, Ibanez Artcore Semi Hollow Body, which is like one of my favorites. Looks beautiful. Okay. Unequivocally busting. Uh, and then we got my little 32 inch Insignia TV. Um, my setup used to be right here, so that's why I put that there. It used to sit uh, right above my monitors. Okay. If you guys ever tuned into the stream when we did our podcast, reusing this is kind of where we the did our podcast at. Um, and oh, okay, then on that's to actually the pretty most nice. Important part of the setup. I've got my PS4 controllers, um, a random Nikon lens that I don't use anymore. And then uh, starting from the worst to the best, we've got my Dell monitor, which uh, I just got it from work. Uh, they gave it to me for free. Um, and then I've got okay. my old 60 Hertz Acer monitor. Join the Rain Discord server, bro. And then okay. my newest curved Acer monitor uh, goes up to 144 Hertz. My fucking, I, I love this thing more than yeah. life itself. Uh, and then I've got my Nikon D3400 camera with a random ring light that I uh, 
bought at Best Buy. It has a 250 millimeter lens. Ooh. We go down here, we got my Stream Deck, and okay. then we got my Alt Customs 60% uh, keyboard with uh, ducky keycaps on it. Uh, this mat came with my desk actually, which is awesome because it's huge covers up so much area yeah i would say um, maybe the upgrade the mouse pad to a performance mouse pad. over here i have the uh alt customs f4 mm -hmm. mice the uh, ultralight and then i have my wireless ah, so suit, one for productivity i assume and one for gaming which i use mostly for fortnite and stuff like that because of the extra button on the side i like to keep all my builds and stuff on this okay, uh, okay. on the mouse itself that makes my sense. baby my sure sm7b mic sitting on a blue stand mic stand which is connected to my uh, Scarlet 2i2. Oh, And then okay. I got the Arctis 3. They're supposed to be Bluetooth. Pretty good on set But the Bluetooth uh, portion of this doesn't work anymore, so I just have it straight oh, plugged in. Oh, that's Hopefully sad. Hopefully Logitech Wireless Pros uh, soon. Random ergonomic chair that I have. Um, got it for Christmas one year for my dad. And then we've got the beautiful tower. Oh, okay. So that looks pretty GQ nice. Stuff, I got a random Umbreon and Dark Ride. Um, Jumbo card. Um, and then we've got all of our G fuel, as I already covered. Make sure you use code RAIN or RGN. Um, and then I've got all of these uh, Funko Pop characters. We got Post Malone, Toby, Kakashi, so on and so forth. And then we got this beautiful Pride and Joy that I pulled on the last Eternal Rain trip. This card is worth, I think it was anywhere from seven to $800 uh, if you have a PSA 10. And then we got Gary over here. And he is just vibing. We've got my uh actual pc setup i've got stickers slapped to hell with all these g fuel stickers so oh. as you can see i've got the radeon 5700rx uh and then you the, do that with a really uh, nice pc is the amd uh ryzen 7 uh, i think you could do it the other side because the glass panel is for you to see your pc the x and then uh, i've got about Man, 16 gigabytes of ram uh, okay. That's pretty much it for this build. Okay. I got about probably three terabytes of maybe you could upgrade it together. Well, that was it for my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed. It. And see you. Okay. And yeah. Anyways, I think um the setup is the setups are actually like kind of pretty decent. But yeah, what I'll recommend is cable management and some tweaking here and there. And other than that, you know, we have a good range of setup from dual setup, which is really, really budget to a more expensive setup and then like a whole entire office even, which is really, really cool. So, you know, different types of setup, you know, different types of setups, you know, at different price points and, you know, one organization. And if I'm not wrong, this is the first time I'm reacting to like a whole entire organization setup, not only one person setup, but a whole entire organization, all of their setups. Um, so do let me know, you know, uh, what you think about it down in the comment section below. And also let me know what setup you, you would like me to check out down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to do so. And if you like this video so far, make sure to drop me a like to let me know. And, you know, consider subscribing to help support um, this channel and what I do um, for free. Last but not least, thank you all so much for watching and staying tuned to the end. And I hope to see you in the next video.